All right, I remember when this distribution first came out many years ago. Now, I even tried it out on my system. It was originally called Mandrake, and then it transitioned over to Mandriva. And I believe I read something that Man Mandriva wasn't going to be doing much of anything anymore. Enter Open Mandriva. We're going to take a quick look at it right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Before I start today's show, I have a few announcements I would like to make. First, for those of you who have been following Manharo GNU Linux, they have just released 0.8.8. .8. You can visit manharo.org for more details. There will be a link in the show notes. Also, another distribution that I have recently reviewed has released another snapshot, and that of course is Solid XK. Awesome Debian-based system for those of you who want to uh, have a nice stable system with up-to-date software. You'll definitely want to check out Solid XK, and there is a link in the show notes for that as well. Additionally, some of you may notice I am not quite as responsive as I used to be on uh, comments here on YouTube, and there's a reason for this. I have now made a few enhancements and improvements to the way you can interact with me. So if you post a question here on YouTube that I don't get to or I don't answer right away, there's another way you can get a faster answer from me, and I'm going to show you how to do it. A lot of work went into this page here, and uh, this is my personal website, www.cupoflinux.com. We are on the welcome page right now. You can see my newest video offerings by going into this section. You get the best of Spatry, where I've cherry-picked some of my favorite videos that I have put up. And then, of course, there is Spatry's chat room. And this will allow you to connect to me on Freenode IRC. Now, if you have XChat or any other IRC clients and you are already connected to Freenode IRC, my room is Pound Spatry. And uh, you'll see it in action here uh, after filling out the CAPTCHA, then you'll be in the chat room. You can see there's quite a number of people here. How cool is that? By clicking on Spatry's forum here, this will take you to my discussion board where I've got quite a number of members already. I've got 64 res registered users, and this is just a few days old. And a lot of hot topics. We've got music, we've got uh, off-topic discussions, and we're also discussing links. This is a great place for you to come in and interact, and we have uh, a number of uh, people uh, in the forums here who are, uh, who are doing their part and uh, helping everybody else uh, with their questions and that sort of thing. So definitely check this out. It is a lot of fun. We've got fun videos, music, and all kinds of fun little topics. Okay, well with all that out of the way, let's have a look at Open Mandriva. You're going to see here I have the system load opened up on this, and I have top. It's telling me including cache cram. This is using 1 gig 195,000 megs. So, and uh, according to this, it's saying that it's using uh, 700 megs of RAM on here, uh, according to this graph. And I just booted this up. So, it is a little bit heavier, not recommended for older hardware, but Definitely have a look at this if you're running something newer. Okay, looking at the uh, upper right corner of the screen, you can add widgets uh, to your panel here. And that was the only modification I made to this distribution was that I moved the panel from the bottom all the way up to the top of the screen because that's where I prefer to have it. You have your clock, okay? You have your networking interface, your uh, most recent devices, okay? In my case, that was VirtualBox Editions, and I had a little bit of difficulty installing it. Mostly for the reason that when you install this, the first thing you're going to need to do, and I'm going to uh, have a link uh, to the page that I visited in the show notes, are some things that I had to do uh, once installing Open Mandriva. For instance, you don't have any repositories enabled by default, so you have to manually enable those, and then I had to download and install their VirtualBox editions in order to get this to display in my native screen resolution. 
okay? Volume control, clipboard, uh, the HP status manager. You also get uh, the configuration of your desktop. This has KWIN already in it running and loaded and isn't that cool so now you can manage how many desktops you have easily switch between them I think it's a nice feature okay you also have a stack folder uh, of downloads here okay you have quick access to Amarok your music player Kmail Copete for instant messaging Firefox and of course the Dolphin file manager okay and they picked a pretty decent little thing to go on, go with this, easy on the eyes for those with sensitive eyes. So this should be uh, good for some of you. And I really have to say I like the launcher that this comes with. And I recall seeing this on the Rosa desktop, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, and uh, basically you have uh, quick access to all of your places here and any recent applications you may have run. Also, you have a number of applications that come preloaded with this, and it's very easy to navigate between them. Just by rolling your mouse wheel, you can easily uh, switch around between them. I just wish that this uh, application launcher were to categorize everything so I could give you a better rundown of what it is you're getting. But just off the, off the top here, just the, the particulars, okay? You do get Amarok for your music player. It does come with an archive manager. Uh, utilities for configuring your system come pre-installed with this. You also get a Krita, which is a really nice image editor. I've taken some time to play with this, and I may eventually use this to replace the uh, Fireworks 8 that I've been using in Wine for, for all this time, and start using this one. It's very nice and easy to use, and yeah, I love it! What can I say? VLC comes pre-installed with this as well, and of course the full LibreOffice suite. And then of course in time frame, if you enable Nepomuk, uh, you'll be able to get more functionality added into this. You can go into your local documents here. For all of you who love the NSA, <laughs> you can log into Facebook and uh, whatever this big blue bee is. Huh. Have no clue. And I imagine you can probably even add some more social networking sites to this, but yeah. I love this launcher. I really do. I think it's really cool. Alright, but at the end of the day, really, this just felt a lot heavier than OpenSUSE. Uh, and for those of you who saw my uh, Open SUSE review. I really, really raved about it. I thought it was really cool and that sort of thing. And this one mm, is just not quite there. It needs some refinement and that sort of thing. But this is an inaugural release. So, I would expect that we'll see a number of improvements coming to this in later days. So, I will be keeping an eye on this one. Well, that's all I have on this. So, if you do install this, definitely let me know. Uh, what you think about it by uh, either putting a message in the space below or uh, leaving a message on my bulletin board system at cupoflinux.com. And as a reminder, please consider supporting all of the show hosts that are bringing the content you enjoy by disabling your ad blockers or shouting them some coins. Peace out.